Bob's Burgers is quickly becoming one of the funniest animated shows on television. The writing is hilarious, and you can't help but love every single one of the characters. Basically, Tina is my spirit animal. And I'm just really excited about this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy, you guys. I think it's probably one of the most unique conspiracies we've ever covered. I bet you can't wait to hear it. Did all of Bob's family die in horrible accidents and is he just imagining them in the restaurant working with him? I really think this conspiracy is going to be true, you guys. Obviously, I was being a little sarcastic back there. I know the all of the characters are dead and everything is in so and so's mind conspiracies aren't exactly original. But please hear me out because this one is actually pretty interesting. This theory stems from the Bob's Burgers theme song. Apparently, all of the restaurant's reopenings are due to the Belcher children's untimely demise. Supposedly, Bob opened his burger restaurant after suffering a psychotic breakdown due to the death of his wife, Linda, which he feels responsible for. How Linda died, though, is not stated. The children died in subsequent accidents, causing the restaurant's relaunches. Louise died first, in the fire. Supposedly, because of Louise's reckless behavior, she is the one who started the fire in the first place. Bob actually mentions this in passing in the show when he tells Tina she is a grill cook because he doesn't trust Louise around fire. Jean caused the rat infestation. During the process of collecting and releasing the rats, he's bitten and dies due to infection. Tina was the last to die. She was mopping the floor near the window when a telephone pole crashed through and electrocuted her. Bob was cleaning the grill at the time and witnessed Tina's death just like the rest of his children. And apparently the reason for Tina's dreary personality is because she also witnessed her sibling's death and is now suffering from depression. Bob's restaurant is located next to the mortuary because that is the last place he saw Linda and he always wants to be close to her. The theory goes on to state that the first three episodes of this series show Bob's insanity after his family's death. In the first episode, Bob has to deal with Hugo's bitterness towards him. Hugo blames Bob for Linda's death, which is why he's trying to ruin his life all the time. And it attempts to shut down the restaurant after accusing Bob of serving human flesh. The second episode clearly shows that Bob is insane because he spends several days in the false walls of the restaurant. And finally, in the third episode, Sacred Cow, Bob meets Melissa, who is a cow. But in the episode, he feels guilty for killing cows and serving them as meat and actually grows pretty attached to Melissa. So when she dies in a heart attack after almost getting hit by a car, he faints and hallucinates being in a heaven-like place sitting on a cloud with Melissa. These three episodes supposedly show Bob's grieving process. So could Bob's burgers really be run by a bunch of ghosts and a grief-stricken Bob? I'm not sure why so many cartoon conspiracies involve every character you've ever loved being dead or insane, but I can assure you we will get to the bottom of this one. The idea that Bob talks to himself through inanimate objects isn't an absurd one. It's a running gag throughout the series that Bob will often have conversations with food, like the Thanksgiving turkey or burger patties, plants, dental tools, and even cooking utensils. So the idea that he talks to the ghosts of his family members is not entirely out of the ordinary. Now the first point of this conspiracy is that Bob started the restaurant to deal with the passing of his wife, Linda. However, it's been stated several times throughout the show that Bob actually started his restaurant after working at his dad's restaurant growing up. And in the episode, Father of the Bob, we learn that Bob actually left his dad's restaurant over creative differences and started Bob's Burgers to compete with his dad's restaurant. No mention of mourning the loss of his wife. The theory also fails to explain the Louise, Jean, and Tina-centric episodes. If they're all supposed to be dead before the series begins, why would they have their own episodes? If Tina was just a ghost, why would Bob go undercover to retrieve her favorite chariot doll at the Equestronauts convention? Why would Bob so vividly imagine Tina's time as a school news reporter? Or Linda and Louise's time at a mother-daughter seminar? Or even Jean's experience as a cheerleader? Of course, the theory never mentions how vivid Bob's hallucinations are, but it's hard to imagine he would go to such extreme lengths to feel like his family was still with him. Also, in practically every episode, Bob expresses his frustration with his family. If he was mourning their spirits, 
Why would he get so annoyed with them? The theory also states that Tina is depressed due to witnessing her siblings' deaths. But if you've ever seen an episode of the show, you know that Tina is far from depressing. She is a strong, sensual woman. All in all, this theory just seems like another attempt to ruin your favorite TV show. And the evidence falls pretty flat compared to the facts of the show. So in the plausibility meter, I give the Bob's Burgers Conspiracy one Weekend at Mort's out of five. We checked the comments and here's what you guys thought of this theory. The Animal Lover said, This is probably the dumbest conspiracy you have ever covered. That, my friend, is a matter of opinion. I personally believe all of the Frozen slash Tarzan slash Tangled slash Big Hero 6 Disney Universe series are probably the dumbest we've ever done, but that's just me. Aiden Hart wrote, Who is killing everybody? A secret cartoon serial killer. Seems like another conspiracy is afoot. King Kibway said, If I had a dollar for every main character is dead theory, please, if I had a dollar for every main character is dead theory that I had to read, I would have been a billionaire like last year. Mev76 said, Why do you want everybody to be dead? I do not want everybody to be dead. It makes me super sad to write these episodes. We get the majority of our conspiracies from you guys, either from comments, from the emails, or from tweets. So if you are also sick of all of these main characters dead, main characters in a coma, it's all in the main characters head theories, please send us some new and original ones. We love original conspiracies that are made up by you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. In the comments, let me know what you thought of this conspiracy and if you agree or disagree with how I rated it. As always, if you want to check out any research we did for this episode, links are below in the description. Make sure you guys check out that preview for next week's episode and catch up on any episodes you might have missed. Make sure you subscribe to Channel Friday Raider, check out our Facebook page, and I'll see you guys next week.